Life is hard. See, it's hard when, when you are 49 years old, been working on a job for 17 years, and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay. And you got to start all over again. It's hard when you are married and raising children and your children are crawling and your husband dies. Unexpected. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard when you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work out. You lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It was rough when I lost my job. And I could not find a job. It was humiliating and embarrassing, borrowing money. And then I couldn't pay the money back when I told them I would. That's rough. How people look at you. How they respond to you. It's very hard. It's humiliating. Here's what I discovered that happens to you in life. That you will go through things and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. But after you go through it, and you get back and you look at it and you say, Oh, now I understand why I needed that lesson. Have you ever happened to you? Raise your hand. Have you ever happened to you that, that I, did, I couldn't understand it then? But after I got through it, then I saw that that was preparing me for bigger and better things. As you go through the challenges of life, and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, if you easy come, easy what? Easy go. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it, because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender and say, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I cooperate. Okay, I learned. Okay. They had to wear me out a long time. So if it's hard, then do it hard. Now, you, how do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times? Les, you must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. A lot of things are going to happen that will catch you off guard. And so therefore, you've got to deal with and handle it as it comes. And not only that, but that faith and patience drives you into action. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. In the Far East, they have something that's called the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. And it doesn't break through the ground until the fifth year. But once it breaks through the ground, within five weeks, it grows 90 feet tall. 